Hey everybody! This is a short tutorial on how to create a text reveal effect for your titles quickly and easily. Recently there were many tutorials on this channel about GoPro. But this channel is not only about GoPro but also about creating videos in general. It is crucial for me to teach you all the techniques as simple and clear as possible. In this way I would also like to motivate all those to learn something new who only make videos for fun and in their spare time. The footage in this video was taken with my drone in Scotland. If you are interested in my equipment, I have put the appropriate links in the video description. So have fun with this video! We start with drawing a line. Later the text will be revealed from the bottom or from the top of the line. To draw a simple line in Final Cut Pro, go to Generators and add a shape. You then select Rectangle as your shape. To transform the rectangle into a line, deactivate the outline and set scale Y to about 3%. Now you have a line. With scale X you can determine the length of the line. If you want to move the line, you should do that using position. To make the whole thing look more cinematic, we will now animate the line to appear. The line should be drawn from left to right. For this we use the crop tool. Make sure that trim is selected. The line should be completely trimmed at the beginning and not at all at the end. This will look like if it would fly in from the left. To reach this goal we need keyframes. A keyframe is a marked point on your timeline where a certain effect is applied to a certain degree. If you have two keyframes in your timeline and both have different values for an effect, the software will automatically create a gradual transition. And this is how we animate our line. So we think about when our line should be completed in the timeline. So for example here, at this point the crop effect should be zero. All values are already at zero. So we just add a keyframe. Now we think about how long the animation should last. Let's assume that it should last one second. So we move back one second in the timeline and trim our shape to that moment. Here the animation of the line should start. We now go back to the crop effect and trim the line from the right, just to the point that you can't see the line at the beginning. So it will be cut completely at the beginning and not at all a second later. For everything in between, Funnaker Pro calculates a gradual transition. We don't have to add a keyframe here anymore. The program does that automatically whenever you change the effect somewhere in the timeline. Our line would be completed with that. Now we add a title. The title should be revealed from bottom to top out of the line. Therefore we insert the title exactly above the line. I generally use custom titles and then adjust them according to my preferences. In this case I make it easy for myself and choose the 2D style bold. Then I adjust the size and the tracking so that the text fits exactly the line. Now we have to create the text reveal effect. And you'll see right away how easy that is. To do this you select masks under the effects and choose a shape mask within the masks. You have to imagine a mask as a kind of camouflage cape. With a mask you can hide objects. Normally you can only see what is inside the mask. Everything else is hidden. If you invert the mask it's exactly the other way around. You can only see what's outside the mask. Everything inside the mask becomes invisible. For our purpose, both could work. Since we want it simple, we use the mask in its standard form. You can only see what is inside the mask. After you have added the mask, I would adjust the corners. The mask should of course be large enough for the text to fit in. You also have to set the feather to zero, otherwise the effect in the border area will be weakened. The important thing now is that the bottom line of the mask is at the top of the line. Remember that everything inside the mask is visible and everything outside the mask is invisible. If you move the text, you can see this effect very well. Now there is only one last step missing and that is that the text should come in from bottom to top. If you have chosen a custom title, you can easily achieve this goal by adjusting the parameters of your title. If you select your title, you can choose different animations for fading in and fading out under T. I have already done a tutorial on this, take a look at it if you are interested. Today we are only interested in the animation in position. This animation causes the title to move from a certain position to the correct position when faded in. For example, if you enter plus 12 for the Y axis, the title starts at plus 12, that is above its actual position, and then moves to its correct position. In our case, however, the title should move from bottom to top. I'll try it with minus 12. You can see that the title is outside the mask and thus becomes invisible, but it moves by the animation to its regular position and thus into the mask and thus becomes visible. Since the mask borders exactly on the line, it looks as if the title is revealed out of the line. To complete the whole thing, I add a second title below the line and repeat the process. 
I insert a mask which this time borders at the top to the line. Then I add an entry animation to the new title. This time with a positive Y value. And already my text reveal animation is finished. Of course the text does not have to be revealed from a line. You can use the same effect in many different ways. If you're interested in more tutorials like this one, give me a like as feedback and until next time.